So next, we're going to do the same thing for the footer. So we are going to uh, change the colors, add in a logo, change the navigation, and make it full width. So let's see how to do that. Press Customize. And first, we need to create a new menu. So we need to create a new menu for the footer. So just add a menu. And we want to do this because sometimes we want different um, navigation elements from our header in our footer. For now, it's going to be the same, but we are going to add an extra credits uh, link down here. So let's add a menu and let's call this footer. All right, so just create menu and it's going to be in the location of the footer. So we just got to check that off and we're going to add items. So we're going to add page items and it's going to be the same for now as the header, but it's important to create a footer navigation. So um, and make sure not to add in this one. This is just a custom link and that's not your home page that we want to add. So we're going to add home, about, services, and contact. And we can always rearrange these by click and hold and dragging them. Make sure it's not indented like this. Make sure it's like this and it will change. Pretty cool stuff. All right, once we have that, we can save and publish and we can check it out. All right, it's looking pretty good, but we still have other things to do like customize the color. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we can go to footer options and footer colors. We're gonna make it the same as the, as the header. So we can just uh, click on this and again, make it F4, 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 or whatever colors you have. All right, and the text colors, we're just gonna make it two, 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 and heading two, 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 and the link color, again, two, 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 two. All right, and then this one was 56, 56, 56. Maybe we can find it somewhere, there it is. All right, cool, so now that is perfect. Once we do that, we can just go back and now we need to do um, the footer size. So footer size, and we can make it big or small again, that's fine, and make sure it's full width so it goes all the way to the side. All right, once we do that, we can just go back again and go to footer logo. Now this is only if you wanna use a different logo than your main logo, but we wanna keep it the same so we're not gonna check it off. To change the logo, we have to go to footer content and click logo. All right, so there we have it, a perfect uh, footer that matches the header. Click save and publish and exit out of here. Later, I'm gonna show you how to remove this theme by Tyler Moore, um, but that's a little later.